We learned that AstraZeneca has joined two other drug companies in their success with a vaccine trial, 90% success rate. Um, based on your experience, I'm wondering what you think about the challenges of distributing a vaccine. And if you're all concerned about a, a drift toward a new world hierarchy, where some people have easy access to the vaccine and some people don't. Well, uh, that's going to be the big challenge. I, I think we're all excited about uh, the results. They're better even than I think a lot of scientists anticipated. And the, now the challenge becomes how do we distribute it rapidly and how do we make sure that people actually uh, are willing to uh, get vaccinated? And that is both a logistical and economic uh, and public messaging challenge. And look, it, it it's, has not been made easier by the fact that we've had a uh, incoherent uh, federal communication strategy, to say the least, when it comes to uh, science and and, and uh, uh, the whole science around COVID. Um, my understanding, and, I, and I'm not uh, obviously a, a scientific expert here, uh, is that uh, part of the challenge, at least for the first two vaccines that were developed, uh, is that they have to be stored at certain temperatures. That puts a little additional uh, challenge on uh, distributing it widely. Uh, I think one of the first tasks for uh, the Biden administration coming in is going to be make sure that we have clear protocols about who gets it first, uh, you know, whether it's frontline workers, people who are most vulnerable, uh, and then move forward from there. Uh, and then we have to uh, you know, consider the international issues uh, because they're, uh, historically what's happened is, is that when you have drugs developed like this, they're expensive and oftentimes very poor countries uh, uh, are the last to get it if they get it at all. And and international coordination around that process is going to be a, uh, very important. And then finally, as I said, you know, we're, we're going to have to make sure that the public messaging counteracts whatever suspicions, conspiracy theories, uh, you know, the anti-vax uh, internet is pretty powerful. Uh, and you know, we, we're going to want to make sure we roll that out in a way that um, elicits trust from the public uh, as much as possible.